Thank you, Dean Johnson. Good morning, everyone. Let's try it again. Good morning, everyone. As a 1995 graduate of King Hall, it is a true honor and a sheer delight for me to be here with the class of 2022 today and in person. I am privileged to share in the celebration of each of your individual and collective accomplishments. I would also like to thank and acknowledge Chancellor May, Dean Johnson, and the entire King Hall community for all that they have done to make today a reality for our graduates. To the parents and grandparents, partners and spouses, siblings, related and non-related extended family members and friends, congratulations to you as well. Thank you for lifting up and supporting our students on their journey to this very momentous day. As hard as each of them worked to get to this moment, we all recognize that they are not here alone and they did not get here by themselves. As graduates, each of you has earned your seat here. You have arrived with strength and courage and dedication. Hold your heads high with the pride and joy that comes with this momentous achievement. In thinking about the journey that brought you all here today, none of us could have anticipated the extraordinary events that marked and shaped your law school experience. From the reeling effects of a global pandemic to the uprisings over numerous civil rights and social justice injustices, and the relentless yet necessary cries for system reforms that have blanketed our nation over the last three years, your law school experience has been distinct and challenging in unforeseen ways. As we honor and reflect on how much you and those close to you have witnessed and endured these past three years, it is also a time to openly celebrate. Today, you become a part of a new generation of lawyers who will bring unique appreciation for how the legal system can serve the public during times of need. No matter what you choose to do with your law degrees, people will look to you as symbols of justice, as special professionals with unique knowledge, and they will be correct. You are now more equipped to contribute to the common good in a myriad of ways, and you are responsible for pushing yourselves to be those symbols of justice and to live by a code of honesty, integrity, honor, and truth. In a few short months, you will pass the bar, and as King Hall graduates, you will pass. Don't worry. You will raise your right hand, and you will state that you will support and defend the Constitution of the United States in the Constitution of California, that you will bear true faith and allegiance to both, and that you will well and faithfully discharge the duties upon which you are about to enter. That oath is the bridge that takes you from law school graduates to lawyers, and it serves as the pathway forward towards your career. In my experience as a practicing lawyer in both the private and public sectors for 11 years, and as a judge in my 15th year on the bench, the importance of professionalism cannot be overstated. As some of you have already heard me say, your reputation within the legal profession begins while you are here in school. Whether you end up practicing in a big city, a small rural community, in corporate law or a nonprofit, on the East Coast or the West, how you carry yourself, how you treat other people, and whether you are regarded as a person who can be respected and trusted has already started. As you build upon your reputation and tackle the emerging issues of our legal system, I urge you to do so with bold, professionalism. So what is professionalism? Some equate being a professional with a title. Oh, you're a lawyer, so you are by default 
a professional. While that may technically be true, I challenge you to push back against hollow labels and really consider what traits underscore being professional and why are they foundational to the legal discourse in society and in our careers. Being professional calls us to establish and maintain and enforce high standards of conduct with everyone we meet, no matter the context. Being a professional requires us to be the same person we are in the classroom or in the courtroom as we are in the grocery store or at a restaurant. Our profession holds a unique place of power in society that should encourage you to emphasize being professional and always strive to demonstrate competency, preparation, respect, and civility with others. This is particularly true when interacting with others with whom you may disagree. To me, to be a professional is to be humble, civil, and ethical in all that you say and do. No, being a professional does not require you to be perfect, but the highest level of professionalism demands intention, intentionality behind our choices, intentionality in your actions, and intentionality in your chosen words. And focusing on being intentional can have rewarding benefits. Upon my King Hall graduation, I had the dream of someday becoming a member of the judiciary. I did not come from a family of lawyers or judges. I didn't even personally know a judge, much less a black female judge. But it was, I knew it was a reality that I wanted to create for myself and for my community. I intentionally made very specific choices about the jobs I sought, the organizations I chose to participate in, and the professionals that I sought to learn from to achieve that dream. Each choice I made came with a lot of reflection, not because I couldn't make a decision, but rather I wanted to be sincere and genuine in all of my efforts. I knew that establishing a reputation of industriousness, intellectual curiosity, authenticity, and service was key to achieving my goals. While often exhausting to bring that level of intentionality to my daily work, and there were clearly days when I just felt like I did not have it in me, the effort was worth it. As you forge ahead and become practicing lawyers, always remember that you are framing your own destiny. You are your own best advocate in making life choices that will shape not only what you do, but who you will become or continue to be as a citizen, as a public servant, as a lawyer. None of us do this work alone. As you become the true professionals that we hope and trust that you will be, as you become the next generation of legal scholars, litigators, private and public sector advisors, and judges, don't forget to pause and know that you have the opportunity, and yes, obligation, to lead by example and make the most of what the legal profession has to offer and that you have to offer it. Ralph Waldo Emerson wrote that to be yourself in a world that is constantly trying to make you something else is the greatest accomplishment. What you do speaks so loudly that I cannot hear what you say. As proud King Hall graduates, let your future actions speak for themselves in the years and decades ahead. As law school graduates from different cultures, different ethnicities, and different socioeconomic backgrounds, your future actions will also be representative of a legal profession that continues to inch ever closer to a legal community that better reflects the diverse population of California and its citizens. 
Our legal system is enhanced when lawyers look like the members of the public who seek access to justice, whether in business, environmental, or personal contexts, whether your clients are people of color, women, LGBTQ+, or people with disabilities. Confidence in the rule of law comes when we understand that individual clients, whether they are those who are less fortunate, to those whose voices are drowned out and ignored, or to those who are using technology to advance science, want and need to be seen for who they are as clients and communities with individual histories and individual experiences and who are deserving of individual attention. Coming from King Hall, I know in some respects, if not many, I'm literally preaching to the choir. With a distinguished majority-minority faculty and a student body that is rich in its diversity, you have already experienced the value of diversity, equity, and inclusion. So carry that with you as you move forward through your career. And do not be silent as you move forward. As someone who has often found herself to be the only female or minority voice in a room, speak aloud your own perspectives with integrity, professionalism, and competence. Equally as important, listen to other diverse perspectives and when appropriate, embrace those perspectives. While diversity, equity, and inclusion are gaining attention and focus at this moment, they are not just words. They are a mechanism through which our profession is uniquely positioned to uphold the practice and substance of the law. As a community of diverse lawyers, you have the ability to create new spaces to discuss and help others better understand the issues faced by those you represent. And no matter who you represent through the years, remember that there is no greater duty, no higher honor, than to use our King Hall education in a way that leaves the system in a better place than we found it. One issue, one case, one person at a time is how you build a rewarding career and how you will individually contribute to the faith and trust that the public needs to have in our legal system. As you build your careers, remain humbled by the sobering yet unique opportunity and responsibility to engage with each client in a way that leaves them with trust and confidence in the legal profession and in you. Lawyers on big cases make the news, but it is the everyday work of public defenders, family law specialists, small business counsel, litigators, prosecutors and dependency counsel that leave individual citizens with confidence that our legal system and the underpinnings of our democracy work the way that it should. Never forget that you can make a difference in someone else's life and you are uniquely situated to make a meaningful and positive impact. As our school's namesake once said, we are caught in an inescapable network of mutuality, tied in a single garment of destiny. Whatever affects one directly affects all indirectly. We are tied to one another, whether as King Hall alum, as members of the California Bar, as voters, or as global citizens. As such, we have a responsibility to give back to the larger community in whatever way maximizes the privilege that comes with being a King Hall graduate and matches your individual values, gifts, and capabilities. You are each living testaments to and products of a stellar legal education grounded in service to others. As you move up and through your chosen legal careers, please do not forget that it is incumbent upon you to reach back or to the side 
to bring along others in a profession that is the backbone of our democracy. Remember that while today is all about you, and it is, the future is about whether, in service to others, we rise to the occasion, put our best selves forward, and become leaders who exercise the courage, clarity, and emotional intelligence required to maximize the privileges and responsibilities that come with being King Hall graduates and members of the bar. In closing, to all of our grads and those who are here in support of you, congratulations and best wishes. Your future is our future, and we cannot wait to see what lies ahead. Congratulations.